morning. Today is day 24 of our 28 days of seeing Jesus clearly. And man, I, thanks for joining us today. I just the presence of God is just saturating this today. I'm, I'm. Uh, today's a good day. Yeah, today's a good day. So today in Matthew chapter 24, have you enjoyed your reading of the Bible slowly, just kind of chewing on the word? Whoa, chewing on the word and looking for Jesus, Shabbat. Here we are, Matthew chapter 24, first two verses. As Jesus came out from the temple and was going away when his disciples came up to point out the temple buildings to him. And he said to them, Do you not see all these things? Truly I say to you, not one stone here will be left upon another, which will not be torn down. Man. Some people look at this and they talk about the end times and all this stuff. Let, let, let's, 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 let's break it down to our lives right now. We all have temples in our life. We, we have false gods that we have worshipped. I mean, not literally, you know, like where they might in, in other religions and other belief systems where they have a pantheon of gods, where they have many, many gods that they offer sacrifices to on purpose. No, friend, we ignorantly serve other gods. We ignorantly serve gods of our flesh and gods of our desire and, and gods that we've made in our own image. And God has a really encouraging word here for you and I. The temples that we've built to these other gods, Jesus is good and faithful to destroy those temples. A temple, of, play, of course, is a, is a dwelling place of God. And our false gods have dwelling places. And sometimes Jesus allows things in our life to fall apart. And we get so sad about it that things don't work out on certain things. And Jesus is like, hey, I promised you I'd be destroying temples. Didn't you know that I'm the temple destroying God? The best thing God can do for us is to destroy every stronghold of idolatry and worship that doesn't lead to the glorification of of Jesus. So if we're going to see him clearly in this day and age, we got to see that not only do his blessings look like increase, sometimes God, it's blessing in your life looks like decrease. It looks like a stripping. It looks like him taking away things that aren't healthy. And we have to bless his name in that as well. So today, as we want to see Jesus clearly, just I want you to reflect a little bit and, and, and ask Holy Spirit to help you. What things have you allowed to fall away in my life? Because you didn't want to compete with any idols or false gods. And in doing so, we'll see Jesus more clearly. Amen. Hey, tomorrow, tomorrow is day 25. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. See you then.